Now find the inverse of these exponential functions, starting with question number three. I want the inverse, so I will switch x and y, and I want to solve for y. So I will log both sides of the equation, just because I want to bring the exponent down. So the y will come down and multiply log 2. That, of course, is just a log rule. So here we have log x equals. Now I need to distribute the log 2. y times log 2, y log 2. And minus 1 times log 2. Or negative 1 times log 2 is negative log 2. Great. Now I can add log 2 to both sides of the equation, both sides of the equation. And this is what we have so far. Now, since we're adding, I can just multiply the contents, right? So this will become x times 2, 2x equals y log 2. Then I can just divide both sides by log 2. Those will cancel out. And we get just y equals log 2x over 2, which I can actually change into log base 2 of 2x. And that is another log rule, the change of base rule. That becomes the base. That's it. Great. Now question number four. Let's draw some separating lines here so that we avoid confusion. And we'll switch x and y once again, of course. Okay, I'll add the two, I'll add a two to both sides of the equation, thereby getting x plus two equals five to the power of y plus one. Now I will be logging both sides of the equation because I want to bring the exponent down. Great. Now we can bring y plus 1 down to the bottom. So y plus 1 times log 5. Then what I'll do is that I'm already going to divide both sides of the equation by log 5. Great. Now, since we're dividing a log by log 5, I can just make 5 the base. So that'll become log base 5 of x plus 2. And that's equal to y plus 1. Then it can just subtract 1 from both sides of the equation. So log base 5 of x plus 2 minus 1 equals y. And that's it. I'll just put y in front just in case. So log base 5 of x plus 2 minus 1. And that's it. 